My name is Khalid. I'm a public service technician with the city of Ann Arbor. You are me, it's not something that you think about often. That's about to change. Over the next two years, the city of Ann Arbor will be working with the residents to replace the old and outdated water meters. These older meters will soon be replaced by newer, more efficient models. This means more accurate bills and better leak detection. Ann Arbor's residential and small commercial water meters have reached the end of their 15-year expected life. It's important to proactively replace these meters before they begin to fail so that we can ensure minimal disruption in service and errors in billing. The new meters will have a 20-year life expectancy and will utilize the most advanced technology to ensure accurate reads. Replacing a water meter takes 30 to 60 minutes with short water interruption. Many Ann Arbor water meters are located in basements. Wherever the meter is, make sure the area is clear of obstructions before work is set to begin. First, the contractor has to isolate the old water meter by turning off the water valves. In some cases, the new water meter can be installed with the existing plumbing. In other cases, a new water meter horn will need to be installed. If you have any more questions, visit a2gov.org slash mirror upgrade. The city has skilled technicians like Khalid that can install and replace meters. But because of the scale of this project, it was important for us to contract the work out. We've partnered with UMS for all of the installations. UMS installers take COVID-19 safety seriously with daily temperature checks, physical distancing, use of gloves, foot booties and face coverings, and routine cleaning and disinfecting of equipment. Customers will also be asked about symptoms or contact with those with symptoms. When it's time for your meter to be upgraded, we'll send you a letter which will describe the process for scheduling your appointment for replacement. As part of this project, we'll also be collecting information about your service line material. This information is required under Michigan's lead and copper and drinking water rule. We understand that this is an inconvenience and we appreciate in advance your cooperation and patience.